Oh, good morning, guys. It's uh, Saturday, uh, Sunday, actually Sunday, March 14th, I believe. And uh, I'm out here on Lake Talquin today. It looks like the uh, fish should be up shallow. I think just about everything on the lake has now gone shallow and is spawning or in some stage of the spawn. I'm starting about a third of the way back in the creek. A lot of boats back here fishing, so there must be some fish back here. At least everybody thinks there are. So we're going to get back here today and we're going to look around and we're going to play with our electronics some more and just see what we see and see what we can make of the day. At some point I'm going to try to get up shallow and play with that perspective mode a little bit more. And uh, it's just going to kind of be a day of learning. We'll see what, uh, what I can figure out and whether or not I can learn something new today. Hey right, guys. Well, it didn't take long. Came right up on the bank and uh, immediately found the crappie. They, they definitely moved in on the banks, and the uh, only problem I've got is uh, they do not want to bite a jig, but we're going to uh, get after them here a little bit and see if I can figure out some way to get some to stop thinking about spawning and eat my jig, but we'll see what we can do. Hi, guys. I got back in the very last third of the creek up on the flats and, the, and down on the banks and the crappie are definitely there. Uh, saw a lot of crappie this morning. They would absolutely not touch a jig. I had one bite. I must have cast it 50 or 60 or more crappie this morning. They were in about, oh, I didn't anywhere from four feet out to seven or eight feet. Uh, within you know a good rock throw of the shoreline and uh, out on the flat so uh, it, I guess this is bright sunlight and them trying to do the thing so now I'm gonna peel around a little bit see if I can catch a couple of bass give me something to do and uh, get the set hook on something be nice <laughs> Take long first cast. Oh, we got off. It's about two pounds. So I was coming back out of the cove and I found these fish. Never fished one here before, but it looks like there's quite a few down there. you loose all right guys two casts two bass lost the first one at the boat caught the second one Let's see if we can get a bigger one
There he is. Well, some days I'll take whatever I can catch, and this has been one of those days. Little bass. Swing and a miss. Appears to be a lot of sightseer boaters out today. They're just riding around the lake making weights. Yeah, this has been one of those days. I'm glad I caught something so I at least could show a fish with my fishing report. It is not easy to catch them today. Not for me anyway. Man, I'll take anything today. Not a monster, but you know what? For a day that most of the big ones are probably up spawning, it's still fine. Hi right, guys, well, I'm back at the house. I had a, a shorter day today, and and I was struggling. I wasn't catching any fish, so I wanted to give you a, a look at my um, live my live scope mount. Uh, and uh, show you how I've got this set up in case uh, anybody decides they want to give it a shot. But anyway, we'll take a look at it. All right, so if you can see, I've got a Hummingbird 360 on my boat, and this is the shaft for the 360. And basically, what I did was put a one of the brackets right above the mount for the 360 shaft to keep it from sliding down any farther and then I loosened the bolts up so that the shaft would turn and then I actually took another 360 bracket and mounted it at the bottom of my uh, a live scope bracket sorry mounted it at the bottom of my 360 put a little plate on it and then I mounted a you see it or not get a better angle that is actually a transducer bracket for the back of your boat and I mounted my live scope to that and that way when it's in perspective mode you can actually change the angle up and down angle by moving the transducer bracket and it holds it good and snug so that's the way I did it and that allows me to use my 360 
and my live scope without having an extra pole on the boat and worked out really well. So today on the on the water, uh, I got out there this morning. I got a little got a little bit of a late start, and uh, I got back in the third of the cove, and there was quite a few crappie. Uh, they were obviously up spawning. Uh, I did hear some folks caught some using minnows, but I casted a lot of crappie this morning, and they just would not bite a jig. I, I had one bite. Uh, it was uh, one of the one of the things with live scope is you can see the fish, but you can't always make them bite and it's very frustrating to to see that many crappie and not be able to get them to bite but i tried every jig in my box and they just weren't having anything to do with it and uh i did uh try to catch a few bass you saw in the video i did catch a few small ones but uh the bigger bass had uh also moved in so all the fish are up on the bank spawning now it's time to get them if you like to do that uh, i'm gonna wrap this up you guys have a great weekend